in three, two, one. We're filming on the brand new iPhone 11 Pro Max, and so we're getting the audio directly from the phone, and we're gonna also test the different camera lenses, and so you can get an idea of a little camera test while we film this destruction of the iPhone 11. So this is the dual camera setup on the back. This is the iPhone 10R successor, if you will, 699, extremely best iPhone for the money right here. Uh, we're gonna see how durable it is today. We're gonna go ahead and take off the screen protector. Whoa. So we're gonna drop test this up to 10 times and see what it takes to break this iPhone 11. Apple claims that this is the strongest glass on the back and the front here. It's certainly very durable and beefy. Like some, it's like noticeably thicker than most glass on other smartphones, but that also makes the phone a bit chunkier. So it'll be very interesting to see how it holds up in a drop test. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get dropping. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> For people that know the slogan, it's supposed to be, it's going to be freaking epic. Let's get started. But I just messed it up, so. Drop on the bottom left corner in three, two, one. Let's check the damage. That's a lot of scuffing, but did the glass actually shatter? Scuffed the metal pretty bad, but the rubber did the job protecting the glass. Let's go ahead and drop it again. We're dropping it on the bottom again in three, two, one. that time all right did it survive drop number two looks like it even though it bounced onto the glass so that was the original drop impact this is the impact from this time and the glass did get scratched a little bit right here but that's pretty minor we've got another impact point right here overall it's still looking good though let's go ahead and drop it again last drop on the bottom in three two one I don't know. I don't know if it had a crunch or not. Did the back crack on that hit? I don't know. Let's see. No, it did not. Impressive. A lot of damage right there. Very jagged gouge there. You could probably cut your hand if you push too hard on that, but you gotta watch out for those. Let's go ahead and go for some drops on the top. Now we're gonna drop it on the top three times in three, two, one. Here we go. That's a lot of damage. This space gray certainly shows off all of the impacts that uh, a phone takes. All right, move on to the next drop test. Dropping it on the top in three, two, one. Here, let's check it out. Still alive. Five drops in. We definitely got a lot of scuffs on this steel frame. Dropping on the top in three, two, one. Did it survive? Yes. And the camera module did take a little bit of scratch there, right there on the corner. I don't think that'll affect the image quality because it's just on the edge. Well, that's definitely one big downside of this giant camera bump. These, these cameras are gonna be sticking out even more, especially for the backdrop. But uh, hopefully this metal edging around it protects the glass from any damage, we'll see. Still alive, move on to drop number seven. We're gonna try to hit the sides now. Now these drops are the hardest because you oftentimes get accidental front and back drops. So we're gonna try our best here. Dropping it on the left side with the volume buttons. They're probably gonna mess this up. Oh, well, here we go. In three, two, one, yikes, face down drop. <laughs> <laughs> of course, straight to the action. It hit really hard on the glass. It's still alive, look at that. Oh man. That's heckin' impressive. It definitely took some impact there. 
Take a look at this corner. We also took some impact there, let's see. Yeah, the glass got almost chipped, but it didn't shatter or crack. That is really cool. Not very many smartphones would have survived that drop just now. Here comes that iPhone 11. Let's go ahead and take a look at this face down drop, essentially. Hits on the corner and whips down straight into this pebbled concrete and somehow it didn't break. I'm actually really impressed. Not very many Android phones would have survived that drop for sure. Let's go ahead and try landing on the side again. Maybe it'll end up as a backdrop this time. All right, going for that side drop once more in three, two, one. Okay, that was a lot better side drop. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, let's check it out. Oh man, the, the cameras definitely took some scratches right there on the surface that time. I just wiped the cameras clean and they look pretty good. Got some impact points right here. I think we're looking pretty good though. No cracks on the front or back. We're gonna drop it on the back glass in three, two, one. Check this out. I'm really, really impressed. That was a huge impact. The back glass didn't shatter. It looks like the camera bump actually took the brunt of that impact. Let's see. Both cameras look like they're scratch free where the actual lens looks out of, you know, like the, just the edges are scratched. So that's okay. And then We've got just a tiny bit of damage on the actual other bump-ish part here, but dang, the back glass is still looking good. The front is still looking good as well. What the heck? This iPhone is so durable. Let's drop it on the front one more time and see if it survives that. Okay, so I'm still super impressed. Let's see if it can survive the 10th drop on the face. So this will be the second face down drop actually. Dropping it on the face once more in three, two, one. We managed to crack the glass finally and we cracked it really good ouch like it doesn't crack until it really really cracks all right well now we got a nice cracky cracked we're gonna go ahead and smashy smash <laughs> oh my god Okay, well, we very significantly shattered the glass this time. So yeah, the display is still functioning, amazingly enough, after that. Oh, it's kind of responding. Oh, there's like, like three areas on this whole phone that I'll touch. Can we peel this back? Oh, whoa. Did you see that? It looks literally like liquid. Weird, it's trippy. So it, it bothers me a lot that the back glass hasn't broken during this drop test. Oh. Dang! Oh, that's a shattered iPhone right there. <laughs> Look at all the glass on my driveway. Uh, we're gonna get a broom to sweep that up. Jeez. Okay. Wow. This thing, amazing. See you in the next one. <laughs> done. <laughs> that's it. That's it. It's a wrap, done. guys. We're done. <laughs> So I was extremely impressed with the iPhone 11's durability for the first nine drops. Sadly, on the 10th drop is where we actually had the failure. Now, during the initial drops, you slightly weaken the glass every time we scratch it, impact it, all of that. That'll, that'll lead to potentially deeper shattering later on. I'm just really impressed that it survived a face-down drop, period. 
What did you think? Is the iPhone 11 the most durable iPhone ever? I think so, probably. Now I'll be posting a comparison video with the iPhone 11 and the Galaxy Note 10 very soon. So keep an eye out for that as well. Now, if you enjoyed this drop test, be sure to go down and smash that like button. If you want to see more drop tests, wacky durability tests on technology and smartphone reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I will see you in the next one. Brandon out.